Good morning. Happy Friday, everyone. It's February 18th. I'm Christina Barthani, investment analyst. Take a look at the British pound versus the Japanese yen. Uh, well, despite the strong demand for uh, the yen this week, the British pound managed to remain resilient against the safe haven Japanese currency, driving the market sideways instead with uh, weak momentum. Uh, currently, we see the price trading uh, stronger today, and I wouldn't rule out any further progress, any further uh, bullish extensions in the short term, because despite its a neutral behavior, the pair found support near the 20-day moving average and therefore remained within the upper bullish Bollinger area, making upside moves more likely than downside ones, as long as the price holds within that zone. Of course, if we look at the momentum indicators below the chart, uh, the RSI and the MACD are still lacking direction, but uh, the RSI is still clearly above 50 and the MACD is still uh, fluctuating above its red signal line. While if you look at the stochastics, the, uh, the green percentage K line has crossed back above the red percentage D line suggesting that uh, buyers are still eager to drive the market to the upside. Uh, however, in order to attract uh, new buyers into the market, uh, the pair will probably need to violate, uh, will probably need to cross above the sailing between 157.75 and 158.20. And uh, in this case, uh, the rally could pick up steam, uh, driving the, extending the broad uptrend uh, likely towards the 160 psychological mark. While not far above that, the 163.85 uh, level could also um, cape any bullish uh, movements uh, given its, uh, given its uh, strong resistance uh, during uh, early 2016. Now, if the bearish scenario takes place instead with a price crossing uh, below the 20-day moving average where the 23.6% Fibonacci tracement of the uplink from 148.96 157.75 is located, uh, that is around 155.68. Then the focus will turn to the 38.2% Fibonacci of 154.40, unless the 50-day moving average manages to block the way. Uh, uh, well, if the sell-off continues below the 38.2% Fibonacci, um, a stronger support could come around the 200-day moving average and the 50% Fibonacci of 153.35, which provided uh, strong protection to the market uh, at, the, at the end of January. While not far below that, um, we may see another exciting uh, trading um, uh, around this ascending trend line, which is drawn from the 2020 low of 124 so any violation at this point could uh, could raise uh, some concerns about the broad positive trend in the market and therefore could motivate fresh selling, um, stronger selling likely towards the 148.96 low, um, unless of course the 61.8% Fibonacci of 151.75 comes to the rescue. So overall, uh, pound yen is still uh, has still the potential for um, improvement in the short term, but uh, in order to attract new buyers, as we said before, uh, the pair will need to clear the sailing between 157.75 and 158.20. Otherwise, uh, the sideways move could continue and uh, selling interest could only grow once the pair drops below uh, the 20-day moving average and the 155.68 level. So that's all for Pound Yen today. Thank you for watching. Have a great weekend.